Welcome Globetrotters, this is Rage with VTAC Air Mobility Command and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a cold and dark start on the Delta Simulations C-17 Globemaster 3. We are here at Charleston and let's go inside. Okay, so I've already got fuel and cargo loaded so we're just going to hop up to the overhead panel and get started on the startup. First thing you're going to want to do is click on the battery. Just like that. Whack, fail. And you'll get the warning. Whack, fail. Whack, fail. Just click that to shut it up, then back to the other. Alright, you're going to need to throw these switches here for the uh, pumps. Before we start the APU, so we'll do that all the way across. Okay, now that we've got fuel going, we'll go up here to the APU control panel. And flip the APU to start. Now we'll wait for the RPM percentage to get up to 100%. The air and hydraulic system over here are all auto, are all, all automatic, so we don't have to worry about those. If you're going to do a flight, you might want to turn on your IRSs. Okay, the APU is at 100%, so we'll go down here and start the, and turn on the APU generator. All right. APU is on, we now have air to the engines, so we can start up. As you can see, we've got nothing going on right now. I'm going to set this uh, thrust mode to max, which is what I use for takeoff and climb. Whenever I'm at cruise, I'll switch it over to the IHR. Then for descent and landing, I'll switch it over to thrust max. That way we can actually slow the plane down when we go to land. All right, let's go back to the overhead and we'll get the engine started. About the engines, we need to start fuel flow to each one, so we'll go all the way across each one. Now, what I like to do is start engines one and two first, then the motor stabilizer we'll go to three. Now we'll watch the N1 climb up, and once it's stabilized, at about 20, 20 to 24%, we'll start the other two engines. Closer to 30. Alright, let's go back to the other end, so I'll go to the Sound of those engines as it
We're going to go ahead and turn on the generators for our fuel. Shut off the APU. Alright, now the APU is going to slow down and we're good. While that's happening, I like to get the emergency power set to auto. And turn on the ATLs. And set the emergency lights to auto again. And we still have a door open. Thank you.